Now, keywords and phrases help you connect with an audience, but finding the best keywords and phrases is just the beginning. Remember, it's all about search intent and what you can bring as value to the reader. But some of the best keyword research tools out there can help you create that content. I'm Michael with Writer Sanctuary, and today I'm going to go over 13 of the best free keyword research tools that you can use for blogging. Now keep in mind that just because you have the best keywords on hand doesn't mean that you're going to create some amazing content. That's going to be completely up to you. I only say that because I've had one client who thought just because he used a keyword that was extremely popular that he would appear on the first page of Google within hours of publishing his article. This is coming from a website that had one article. Yes, it happens. So let's dive into it and see what kind of keyword tools we can find. So first up on the list is Google's Keyword Planner. This has been a favorite for a lot of people for many years and it's free to sign up with. It comes with, it used to be Google AdWords, but they changed it to just Google Ads. Now with the Keyword Planner, all you gotta do is just put in your terms that you want. Let's say we're looking for the best plugins for WordPress and hit search. It'll break it down for the past month and give you all kinds of ideas of uh, what you can create for your content. Of course, this also depends on how you're going to use the keyword. For example, if you were to use best free WordPress plugins, are you going to create a listicle or are you going to show what you think to be the best free WordPress plugin? And this is where search intent and trying to engage a specific audience comes into play. But Keyword Planner comes with a myriad of different tools. You can broaden your search, you can control how far back you want to go. You can even export the list of words that you select here and add them to a spreadsheet. This will help you keep track of certain keywords that you create throughout your blog post. Personally, I use a spreadsheet to manage YouTube and Rider Sanctuary now, and it's made a huge difference. Of course, I've been doing this for my client for years, and I just haven't done it for myself. But with Google's Keyword Planner, you have access to average monthly searches. The competition is more of the competition when you're buying ads, so you it's kind of a good justification of just how competitive that certain keyword is. So like if I was to go with free, uh, best free WordPress plugins, low competition for ads if I was to buy them, but I'm not. But it does kind of signify um, the competition when you're writing because uh, more articles out there usually means it'll be a higher competition anyway because people are spending more money for that certain phrase. Now that's not an exact science, but it actually works fairly well for me. Now the next one up on the list is KeywordTool.io. Now this one gives you access to Google, YouTube, Bing, Amazon, eBay, Play Store, Instagram, and Twitter. Essentially you just type in your keywords here, but let's just stick with the same one. Oops. And it'll give us a breakdown of all the different key phrases that we could use. Unfortunately, the free version does not have search volume, trend, CPC, or competition unless you pay for the tool. However, it's a good way to get some ideas on different keywords you can use in your article for your blog. See, we can go with best live chat plugins, best YouTube plugins, best analytics plugins. I mean, there's all different kinds of things that you can use. And what you can do is select the different ones that you want. So we'll say, uh, we'll say, we'll grab a, like a handful of these. And then on the bottom right, we can copy and export. We can either copy to clipboard or export to a CSV or to an Excel spreadsheet. That way you can just take that list, put it into your own spreadsheet, and then take to Google Keyword Planner and see what kind of volume those have. Now I kind of like the tool simply because it has the YouTube search on it. And so you can go with either a blog post or for vlogs if you want to create videos. So if I was to click this and search for the same term, I still get my list of key phrases that I could use in my videos, but it doesn't give the search volume. Still, I can select the ones I want, copy to the clipboard, and then I can research them and figure out exactly what I want to create when I make a video. Now the next one up on the list is Ahrefs Keyword Generator. Now I've used Ahrefs for my client because they pay for the big super subscription plan and it is very in depth on what you can uh, find. You can easily just put in your keyword and say I'm not a robot. And in a few moments, you'll come up with a list of the keywords. Now, Ahrefs does have the volume for the first few, but you have to upgrade if you want to get any more information. Then you have your um, KD here, which is the keyword difficulty. Uh, the higher the number, the worse it's going to be. Of course, best plugins for 2015 is going to be fairly easy to rank for nowadays. 
but Ahrefs does go through and give you quite a few key phrases that you can use. Now the basic plan for Ahrefs is $99 a month. Unfortunately, I don't know if that's going to be a worthwhile investment for a blogger, especially if you're new. Next up on the list is Word Tracker. A word tracker goes a little bit more into details with volume competition than some of the other ones out there. And it gives you quite a long list of the different things you can use, especially when you're got it, especially when you're considering uh, free versus everything else. Another cool feature about word tracker is that you also have the ability to import. So if you have a list of keywords yourself, you can import it and word tracker will break it down for you. Now another cool feature of word tracker is that it also has Google, Amazon, YouTube, and eBay. So if you plan on expanding into any of those other platforms, you get a pretty good list of keywords you can use. However, one thing to keep in mind is that you are limited in how many searches you can do. Like right now, I have 11 free searches remaining. I had 12, I used one. And if you want to unlock more, you have to pay. And it also has a few filters you can adjust, like you can include certain keywords, you can exclude certain words from showing up in your list, you can create your own lists. So it's got a bit of flexibility when it comes to tracking keywords. Another one of my favorite keyword tracking tools is Moz. Now Moz has a lot to it, but its keyword analytics stuff is great. Like you can get a keyword overview, suggestions, SERP analysis. So when I put in the best WordPress plugins key phrase in here, I did get a list of some decent suggestions. Now they do have a dilly here where you can adjust by relevance. And so we can break it down on what kind of keywords are more, most relevant to my search term. Then you also have the search volume that you can adjust. You can export it to CSV files. So it has quite a bit that you can do with it. Now when you sign up for a free account with Mods, you get 10 free searches per month, which is okay for just beginner bloggers. Of course, when you expand your market, you'll probably have to pay for the system after that. But in the very beginning, 10 searches is pretty much all you're gonna need. Cause you can come up with months worth of content just on the search terms alone. And of course that also depends on what you're looking for. Now another one of my favorite keyword research tools and one that I've been using for quite a while is Answer the Public. I remember using Answer the Public back in the day when it just barely, barely first started. But you put in your search term and it'll break down all the questions people ask for that particular term. So you can either visualize it with this little chart here or we can click on data and it'll break down all the different terms. Now these are, these are current questions that people are asking. So you know that you might be able to secure a little bit of that traffic when you're looking for certain terms. In fact, Dance of the Public has helped me create some of the best articles that I've performed on Ryer Sanctuary, Cross of Colorado, and Colorado Plays. Now, another one of the best free keyword research tools out there is probably Ubersuggest. In Ubersuggest, you just put in your search term and hit the button. And it'll give you a breakdown of your of the, of the term. I kind of stumbled my sentence there. So if we were to scroll down a little bit, we could find a list of uh, our keywords, content ideas. These are articles that have actually been published, estimated visits for each one. Just keep in mind that the estimated visits isn't really a good reflection of traffic because there's been a few times where some of my articles say that I should only get so many visits when they've done way better. So take estimations with a grain of salt. But Ubersuggest does give you quite a bit of information, especially if you create a free account and track your website through it, then you can get all kinds of competitive analysis, keywords by traffic. So if I was to put in my domain here, it'd give me a breakdown of the estimated traffic for all the different things I cover on my blog. And some of these might give me more ideas for things I need to write. Here's an example. So with the keyword of Ko-Fi has a very, fairly high volume of um, searches every month. It says I should have 15 visits per month, but in reality, I'm getting close to almost 15 per day. But for being a free tool, it does go into quite a bit of your website and helps you find some decent keywords. Next up is Keyword Tool Dominator. Now if you like basic and easy to use, this is probably right for you. You put in your search term, it'll give you all the different terms that it finds. It gives you a rank of how well the keyword performs in search results. Then you have uh, your filters here where you can contain or remove certain terms from your search. The different ranking, you can enable top 10. But Keyword Dominator Tool is an easy system to use and it can give you some ideas on what you can write for your blog posts. Now, one of my favorite keyword research tools is Keywords Everywhere. This is a tool that you can use that'll show results in both Google and YouTube and in a few other places as well. For example, if I installed the app and looked for best WordPress plugins, 
On the right side here, we have keywords everywhere. Let's show the trending data, related keywords, people also search for, long tail keywords, which can help you write a ton of content for your blog. The only problem I have with it is that it doesn't show the search volume unless you upgrade. But Keywords Everywhere doesn't just work for Google. If you go to YouTube, you can search anything and it'll also give you a similar screen on the right. Except for YouTube, it'll show the top channel, maximum views, average age, a whole bunch of information plus the trending data for your search term. And when you visit a video, it also gives you the video insights for that particular video, all of its tags it uses, which can kind of give you ideas about what kind of blog posts or YouTube videos to make. It is. I've used YouTube videos to create blog content that wound up doing fairly well in Google. It all depends on how creative you are and if the terms are searchable. For the most part, take those tags and do a quick search through Google Keyword Planner. But you'd be amazed by how many times you can create a good blog post from a YouTube video. Another Chrome extension they use for keyword research is Keyword Surfer. Now, Keyword Surfer works a lot like how Keywords Everywhere works, except for it has a few different functionality pieces that Keywords Everywhere doesn't have. So in my search in Google for best keyword plugins, if I scroll down past Keywords Everywhere, there it is, the Keyword Surfer plugin will actually show the keywords, the similarity to your search term, and the volume. That's one thing that Keywords Everywhere doesn't have that I really like for Keyword Surfer. Another aspect is if I was to click on any of these that copy to the clipboard, like that, and I hit clipboard, and it'll show me the terms that I have selected, and then I hit the three dots up here, and I can export it as a CSV. And because I use spreadsheets for tracking all kinds of keywords for both blog and the YouTube channel, something like that is quite handy. One thing I like about Keywords Everywhere and Keyword Surfer, especially when it comes to Chrome, is that both will work fairly well together. As you've seen, I was able to scroll down past Keywords Everywhere and find the Keyword Surfer stuff. And sometimes they have the same terms, but Keywords Everywhere seems to go a little bit deeper than Keyword Surfer does. Now, unfortunately, Keyword Surfer's correlation data doesn't really match up. So like if you were to break it down by words, it's supposed to be how many words are in each article. Unfortunately, whenever I tested it, it seemed that the article was at least a thousand words more or less from what Keyword Surfer said. I'm guessing Keyword Surfer finds every bit of text and puts them into a column and judges it that way when it's not exactly relevant to the article. But it's still a good tool because I can export my stuff directly from Google and create a big list of uh, words I want to use in my blog. Another one of the best keyword research tools out there is SEMrush. Now SEMrush is another one of those where you can upgrade for quite a bit of money, but in the free version, it actually works fairly well. I've created a free account for Writer Sanctuary and able to break down all the different keywords I want to use. It gives me a trend, the difficulty percentage, cost per click, Unfortunately, it is limited. We can only do so much. So like right here, I'm only able to see what the top seven key phrases. But SEMrush also has a lot of other data points. So like your domain overview, traffic and analytics, which is really great if you want to put in your competitor's uh, website. It'll break down the different uh, points of data for it. Keyword manager, position tracking. SEMrush just has a lot of different features that I kind of like. And when you're first starting out, it's pretty much all you're going to need. Now it is limited, but there's quite a few things you can do with SEMrush. Personally, I found it worthwhile to create the account and I use it every other day. Now, another one of the best keyword research tools out there is Search Console from Google. Now if you don't know what Search Console is, it's Google's way of keeping an eye on your blog. Now in Search Console, you can break down the top queries of how people find your blog content. You can see how often it appears in search, how many clicks it's received, you can go through and find all kinds of different terms that people have used to find your blog post. And sometimes these keywords aren't necessarily part of your blog post to begin with. Thus, it can spark some new ideas, create a piece of content that will appear better in search terms. For example, the Patreon versus Buy Me a Coffee that has appeared 921 times in the last three months. It's had 58 clicks. I don't have an article for Patreon versus Buy Me a Coffee. That term is purely going straight to the review of Buy Me A Coffee and probably some of the other stuff I've done for Buy Me A Coffee. Never once have I ever used Patreon as a standalone article. So what does that mean? It means that in the future I'm going to write an article of Patreon versus Buy Me A Coffee. So using Search Console you can find out all kinds of stuff that you can either create a whole new blog post on or ways that you can accentuate a blog post by adding any of these terms that people are looking for. So when it comes to your blog content, Search Console is going to be one of your best friends ever.
This is aside from the fact that Search Console also keeps track of your core web vitals, which is a scoring factor in Google Search. As you can see, it looks like I fixed a little bit of my website back on the 5th of May. Uh, I have a little bit more work to do, but it's still a work in progress. Pretty much if it has anything to do with your website on Google, Search Console is going to control it. And last but not least is the Rank Tracker tool from SEO Power Suite. The Rank Tracker is a standalone program that you install on your Windows, Mac, or Linux computer systems, and I am quite impressed with how well it works. Well, for the most part. There is one inescapable glaring flaw in the free platform. Now, how Rank Tracker works is that when you first open the program, you have to put in the website that you want to track. In this case, I did Rider Sanctuary. Now, from here, I can target any domain to find ranking keywords. I can find a keyword gap. I can look at Search Console if I connect my account. So I can pull all that Search Console information I showed you a minute ago directly into this app here. Keyword Planner, if I connect it with Google Keyword Planner, it's all done from here. Then we have Autocomplete, Related Search, Related Questions, Information about your top ranking competitors, Keyword Combinations, a Sandbox. Now the Ring Tracker tool has a lot of stuff to it. It's just an application after you run off your desktop. And personally, that works great for me because I'm not a big fan of web-based applications anyway. I think there's way more power on desktop applications, and this one suits my fancy. And if you want to keep your eye on competition, you do have the option to click on the competitor research and go even deeper into domain competitors topic uh, for certain key phrases, the top pages. You can analyze your domain strength. See, so I have a, quite a bit of work to go. It pulls up the Alexa, the Alexa rank, which is awesome because I remember back when it was 1.8 million. Then you have your reports. You can come up with all different kinds of reports de uh, debating on, uh, depending on the type of data you connect to it. So it goes a little bit further than just the basic keyword planner tool. Now the biggest problem with keyword tracker though is that you can't save any of that information. So when you connect Search Console or Keyword Planner, as soon as you close the program down, you have to reconnect them when you load it up again. That is unless you pay the $149 a year for Keyword Tracker. And based with all the information it has on it, it might not be that bad of an investment. However, as a standalone application, if you just put in your website at the very beginning when you first load it up, you still have access to a lot of different keyword research tools that are in the program. I would just kind of like the ability to save the projects and to save all those connections because it's a pain in the ass to log into Google every time I want to use it. Especially since my passwords are like so advanced. I don't like typing them in so much. In fact, I'm debating on paying for it just to give it a try for the next year and probably do a review on it. So there you have it. That is 13 of what I think to be the best keyword research tools that are out on the internet. Half of them I use on a weekly basis. And there's probably a lot more out there that I didn't cover. Like I forgot to add WordStream, which is a fairly decent system, but I really never use it all that much. So that's why I kind of slipped the mind. So what tools are you going to try from this list? Personally, I plan on going a bit deeper into each one of these and do a full review video in the near future. But Rank Tracker is easily one of my favorites, but I don't know if I'm, I'm still on the fence about paying the $149 a year for it. I don't know, I guess it depends on how tired I get from having to put my information in over and over and over. Though the paid version of Hey Her Apps, which I've been able to use in the past, is quite extensive. It's also quite expensive. But for the most part, a lot of my clients will use Ahrefs or Ubersuggest. And both of those have a lot to them, especially when it comes to competitor research. But then again, so does Rank Tracker. And the competitor research I got to do is find the domain of the person you want to compete against and throw it in there. And I know a lot of freelance writers who love keywords everywhere. I like it. I just wish it would show the, um, the traffic volume for it. Now it used to back in the day when it was completely free, but then they've upgraded to where you have to pay for that feature. And at the moment, I already pay for a lot of stuff. So I don't know if it's going to be something I'm going to throw money at. But a lot of these tools are really easy to use. So but if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button for more videos about blogging, freelance writing, WordPress, or anything else I cover, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I think it's going to do it for me today. And I'll see you next time.